leaf cutters. Ants that grow their own fungus garden. He cut all kinds of organic material, carefully putting small pieces on their fungus. In the beginning, the queen will help, but later she will disappear in the built fungus. The brood will feast and grow on the fungus, just to later join the scavenging for more material. As a nest builder, I saw a challenge, and here is the test the new leaf cutter setup. Welcome to the crafting end. Day minus five. I placed the order for Acra Muramax Lundi. A queen, 20 workers, and of course fungus. If you want leaf cutters, contact Ilias Insects. The link will be in the description. Day minus three. The order was shipped from Belgium to the Netherlands, 24 hour service. Day minus two. By the days, you can already guess what happened. The shipping was delayed. Day minus one. Shipping still delayed. Day one. Finally, the colony arrived. Handle with care. A well insulated box with a heat pack and a business card. And last but not least, a small cup containing our new colony. Later that day, we moved them into a founding pod. By putting the cup in the pod and gently placing the fungus on the grid. Then we place the cup over it. The cup helps retain the humidity. After moving all the ants, a design flaw arose. The ants starting nesting under the grid, but the hydration block would get too humid and would kill the fungus. Day 2. Off camera, I replaced the grid for a new model, but still the small workers went under the grid. And by that time, the fungus was brown and scattered all over the place. I talked to Ilias and we decided that one, the pot needed some work, and two, the fungus might have been dying because of the delay in shipping. I placed the colony back into the plastic container. And Ilias shipped me donor fungus. And because I was unsure of the consequences, I ordered another queen with five workers. Day 4. Today we had to change the cotton. The ball keeps the humidity up under the cup, and as you can see, the fungus was looking bad. Day 5. A new box from Ilias. This time, no shipping delay. And there it is. A cup with a colony the same as before. But also a cup full of ants and fungus. So what is donor fungus? Ilias sacrifices a piece of his own colony. He just scoops a cup full of fungus and ants out of his fungus pod. The ants will keep the fungus alive during transport. Now we just have to separate the fungus from the workers. Because Lundy will accept new fungus, but they won't accept new workers. Off screen. We place the colony with new fungus in the final version of the fungus pod. And right away you can see the enormous difference in fungus. Day 6. The colony seemed happy in the new setup. We did some maintenance and placed a new and better temperature and humidity sensor. Day 10. 
The ants have fully accepted the fungus. Now we just need the brood production to start up again. Day 15. The fungus was shrinking a bit, but some brood can be seen. Day 23. The fungus is really starting to grow. And new workers should be popping out any day. Acromermex Lundi can go from egg to worker in 21 to 28 days. Day 33. It's looking great now. The fungus looks healthy and the worker numbers are rising fast. Day 41. The colony is doing awesome. First, let's do some cleaning. And now it's time for a bigger cup. Day 51. And now with a bigger cup, they decided to grow even faster. Day 55. More and more the roles are getting divided. Ants cutting and transporting, ants taking care of the fungus, and don't forget the guards at the entrance. Day 67. The fungus is now growing so fast that after a bit more than two weeks, we need to upgrade again. Just look at this healthy fungus. This was the biggest cup I could fit through the opening without taking the lid off. Day 75. And the colony was thinking, bigger cup? We can handle the challenge. Every day you could see it grow. Day 78. Another big step in growth. Day 85. The fungus was growing, but also the brood pile was exploding. Day 93. They did it again. In 18 days, they tripled the size of the fungus. In the background, the expansion for the setup was almost ready. Day 94. Time for the big upgrade. First, I took out the liquid feeder. Then, I took out some trash and placed the temperature sensor in front of the connector. The rest of the setup was ready. In the left outworld, I placed some trash, hoping their own pheromones would help. And on the right side, I placed the old liquid feeder with some tasty leaves. Leaf cutters are very organized, and they like to keep their trash and food separated. First, I had to switch the blind to a pipe or tube connector. The opening was still blocked on the inside by the sensor. After that, we could just slide it onto the pipe. And then, move the sensor. Now the exploration could begin. Most attention went to the trash side. A 
and this was visible really fast. After two hours, the fungus pod was completely clean. All trash was moved to the trash pod. Day 98. The setup was fully accepted by the colony. The only thing missing was a name. So I reached out to our Discord community. And within minutes, Ninituru came with the name. The Gardeners. How fitting. Day 100. In a hundred days, we went from a colony in a small cup to a colony that doesn't need a cup anymore. So, time to take it off. But it didn't end after 100 days. This is day 104 and they just kept going. And how? And what about day 127? In case you wondered what happened to the donor fungus and the workers, they tested the setup in the background. They even made elates or princes. But the colony is dying. They have no queen, so no new workers. And when the workers die, the fungus will not be maintained. And it will collapse in time. And what happened to the other colony? The colony grew nicely and was sold off to our channel friend Martin. The link to his Instagram is in the description. This leaf cutter setup is now for sale on a website. Be sure to check it out. Thank you Ilias for all your help and service. Be sure to check out his Instagram. Want more information on ants or need any help? Join our Discord. And of course, like, subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thank you for watching and see you next time at the Crafting Anthem.